today. Our guest, Katie Nera, is here today to speak about her brand new film, Mr. Right. And we've got movie fashion and boxing gloves. And this is... Movie Threesome! <laughs> <laughs> Katie, thank you for joining us today and concluding, concluding, completing, complotting the movie threesome. I'm always down for a threesome. Uh, Before noon. Before noon. <laughs> yeah. Early morning is Early the best morning. time for a threesome, apparently. Exactly. You're an actress, but you also have a fashion line and you're a screenwriter. How do you balance all of that? Well, the clothing line is just jackets now, so it's kind of... That's easier to handle. I love that you're like, it's just jacket, so that's easy. And I'm like, I can't even pick out my clothes in the morning, <laughs> let alone designing a life well, of no, jackets. Well, no, meaning like it's nothing new. <laughs> it's just the same the same silhouettes. So it's not like a new collection. Okay. I, would have I would have jumped out of window a long time ago. It's just like a new collection <laughs> each season or something like that. I want to talk a little bit about Mr. Wright. This movie here, you play Anna Kendrick's roommate. Can you tell me a little bit about getting involved and what it was like just being on set? It was actually a really fun set. We shot in New Orleans, and when the union people came to visit our set, they said that we were like the happiest set because I guess there were six <laughs> other productions going on and everybody hated everyone on a certain TV show, I won't say which, that is no longer right. on. Mm. Your character in this super quirky movie is kind of the straight man. I know. But because it's so quirky, you say some ridiculous things. Yeah, it's rare that I play this straight now, but it's true. I, I'm sort of the voice of reason, yeah. but yeah. He kills the people who hire him. Yeah. Is this guy dead? How much of that was improv, or how much did you guys really script out? We pretty much stuck to the script in a lot of the other scenes, but Sam and Anna are great to improv with, and you know, not all actors are great improvers, so they were fun to play around with. Well, you know what's fun to play around with is every week we do a weekly wager. And I don't know if you're familiar with it. Yes. Okay. Last mm -hmm. week we talked about Allegiant. It was the, the third movie in the Divergent series. Yep. Right. Tiffany, you remember what you bet? <laughs> I was at the premiere in New York. Do you remember what you bet? That was awesome. Do you remember what you bet? I bet 37. I bet 36.5. The actual box office numbers for Divergent Allegiant was 29 million, which once again means I am winner. winner. You, you are the. What do you win though if you win? Bragging rights. Yeah, the loser like has nothing. terrible things happen. Maybe if to you them. win like diamonds, but if you're not, like who cares? <laughs> it's true, but it's all I got. That's all he has is bragging rights. Right? This week's loser should comes from Ocular Nervosa, who says the loser should have to try to drink a soda wearing boxing gloves. No straw from a glass, a large glass. Katie, would you do us the honors, please? There you go. That's a lot of soda. It's a lot. Are you putting the whole thing in there? No, 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 yeah. but I, I, ginger ale's refreshing, so <laughs> this could be. All right, here you go, Tiff. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Good luck. This will be wonderful. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> go for it. Chug, chug. chug Come chug, on. Do chug, it, do chug, it, do chug, it. There you go. Oh, nice, see? Oh, good job. That's impressive. I did it! Yay! Our champion. All right, Batman v Superman is coming out. The big movie. Everybody has been looking forward to this one. We are going to make our wager on that. I think it's going to make 183.5 for Batman v Superman. How about yourself? I'm still going big. I'm yeah. going to say 182, though. Who do you think is going to win next week? I think she's going to win. Fair enough. Okay. She seems like the winner. Great. Yeah, I do. Um, how about the movie itself? Are you Batman? Are you Superman? Who, who are you rooting for? Definitely Batman. He just seems cooler than Superman. Yeah, I mean, I just see. like the Batmobile is cooler than like flying through the sky with a cape. <laughs> Sorry. Poor, poor Superman. Well, make sure you send us your loser shoulds using the hashtag in the YouTube comments below or on social media. I win! Even when I'm a loser, I win. You can take them off if you want because it's time now for today's topic. I really enjoyed the boxing gloves look. I think now it's just simple. The fashion is done. You've ruined a nice trend. I just, I just didn't want those accessories. I would like so many of the accessories and fashion that I saw on the carpet for Batman v Superman. Oh. Amy Adams looked amazing. Mm -hmm. And the boys looked so good too. I mean, Henry Cavill comes up and you're like, he's so dapper, just in the like very fitted, elegant suit. It looked great. I actually wanted to ask Katie, because of your experience in fashion here, do you have some, some movies that you could kind of go through your memory and go, I was blown away by the costuming I saw in that particular film? Definitely the thief, the cook, the wife and his lover. You guys have never seen, you guys are both like this. <laughs> like, is that some weird porn movie? <laughs> is, that our, is that our crew? <laughs> is that your crew? <laughs> yeah. I find that most of the costumes in like European films seem more 
interesting to me, but even though I'm not a huge comic book person, all the superhero films, like even in Thor and all the, yeah. with the special effects or different things that you can do with that, they definitely do make, help make the film or make the characters and whatnot. And But then all the classics too, like Annie Hall. This is something my wife does all the time. I'm curious if you Wait, do. Wait, you're married? Someone married you? <laughs> I am asking you nothing. Oh, I am asking choice. you nothing. My wife. Ask me. Yeah, like, when we're, when, yes, when we're watching something from the 80s, she's like, that's not that, that's not authentic. Did yeah. your eye pick that up right away? Yeah, there's a lot of films where you're like, wait, what? Like, this was not there in the 90s. Yeah. So your wife sounds smart. Like, I don't know why she You're a mean you, person. But, um... <laughs> Let's talk more fashion in movies. <laughs> I love how much too, like high fashion and costuming and film overlap. I mean, even in the TV world where Colleen Atwood did the costumes for Supergirl and for Flash, and then you kind of look to The Huntsman, and she also did the costumes for that, and now we see the beautiful billboards of the dresses that yeah, Charlotte's fans, oh my God, they look so incredible. Well, I'm ready for something incredible because you guys have been teaming up against me this entire episode, <laughs> but not now because you're going head to head. It's time for Game, game Time! time! It is the Whisper Game. Pretty easy. The two ladies will put headphones on. Music will blast their ears because they've been saying really bad things about me all episode. In honor of Mr. Wright, the category will be action comedy. So you will guess. I will say an action comedy. You'll guess what it is. Ladies, please put the headphones on. What do we win if we win? You get to leave. Great. Now, what music do you not like? Country. Country, please. <laughs> the first word is... Deadpool. <laughs> Men in Black 2. Men in Black 2. Hot Fuzz. High Five. False. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. You want to have sex? Scarface. With my imaginary wife, yes. Hot Fuzz. Fight. Fight Club? Hot Fuzz. You're like scaring me. I don't know what the noise. Hot. What? Buzz. Hot fuzz. Height fight. Hot fuzz. Ass face. Hot fuzz. Aspen. Hot fuzz. Hot fuzz. Hot fuzz. I'm sorry. I really thought you said ass face. Really? Ass face. It's a brand, brand new movie. It's great. Spy. Yeah. Oh, all right. Here we go. Mr. Wright. Winner! Woo! Woo! There it is. She's in the movie, so like, she, I mean. Or she is good at reading lists. She is good at yeah. it. Yeah. And on that note, we'll just wrap up the show. I want to say a huge thank you to Katie for joining us. Make sure you guys check out her movie in theaters on April 8th, Mr. Wright. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us, and make sure you click subscribe to our show right over there. Watch past episodes of Movie Threesome right there, and make sure that you download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphones. Join us every week here on Movie, movie Threesome! Threesome! She's a big fan of mine, you know that? No, she's not.